In this video, we'll be simplifying or compressing logarithmic expressions. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy down these four properties of logarithms. When you're ready to continue, press play. Our first example, we're asked to write each expression as a logarithm of a single quantity. So our first example, we have 3 ln x plus 2 ln y minus 4 ln z. Now we can see from this fourth property, when we have a number multiplied by a natural logarithm of some argument, that uh, coefficient, that number that's out in front, can be written as the exponent on the argument. So we have three um, terms here, and each of those terms have a number out in front of the logarithm. So I'm going to use that fourth property to bring this number up as an exponent here on the x, bring the 2 up on the y, and the 4 and z. So we have ln x to the third power plus ln y to the second power minus ln z to the fourth power. All right, then when we have logarithms added together, that's the same as the single logarithm of the product of those arguments. And then when we have a difference, that's like dividing by uh, this argument would be the uh, denominator of the fraction. So our first two terms, we can write that as the product of the argument. So x cubed times y squared. And then because this is minus ln z to the fourth, when you have a minus ln of some argument, that argument um, is in the denominator. So divided by z to the fourth. So now I have a logarithm of a single quantity. Let's do another one. All right, we have uh, 2 multiplied by this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and write this stuff inside the brackets as a single logarithm first. So we have a 2 outside, and then we have ln. And remember our properties, if we have addition, then we multiply the arguments. If we have subtraction, then we divide the arguments. So this argument will be in the numerator. Since this uh, logarithm is, uh, we have a minus there, then that uh, argument is in the denominator. And then uh, this logarithm uh, also, we have a minus. So this argument is in the denominator as well. All right, now I have a single logarithm of a single quantity. Um, I can take this 2 and write it as the exponent on my argument using property 4. So this is the same then as ln of x over x plus 1, x minus 1 and that's quantity squared. All right. We can use our properties of logarithms to uh, rewrite um, and get approximate values for these logarithms. 
Um, I'm given that the ln of 2 is approximately this number, and the ln of 3 is approximately this, 1.0986. So I uh, need to consider how to rewrite this. We have 0 0.25, but there's a number of ways to rewrite that. Um, so that I can use one of these. Uh, remember that uh, 0.25 is the same as 1 fourth. So let me write that. And then uh, 4 is the same as 2 squared, so that's going to get me closer to being able to use this. So this is ln 1 over 2 squared. And then if I want to bring that um, and make it 2 to a power, I would need to negate this exponent to bring this uh, denominator up to the numerator. So I can do that. That is the same as ln of 2 to the negative 2. And now I have property 4 that allows me to take my exponent out in front of the logarithm. And so this is the same as negative 2 times the ln of 2. Well, the ln of 2 uh, we're given is 0 0.6931. So this is the same as negative 2 times 0. 6931, which is, this is approximate, so we'll have to say approximately equal to a negative 1.3862. Let's do one more of those. This uh, argument is a whole number, but we can think of it as the, a product of some numbers. Remember that we need to only use twos and threes. So 24 is uh, 8 times 3. And then uh, we know that once we have our argument is a product, we can write it as the sum of the individual logarithms. So this is ln 8 plus ln 3. Um, 8 is 2 to the third power. So let's write that ln 2 to the third power plus ln 3. And then I can use property 4 to bring this exponent out in front of my logarithm. So I have 3 times the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 3. So uh, let's see, natural log of 2 is 0.6931. Plus, and then the natural log of 3 is 1.0986. So these are approximate uh, numbers. But we have, uh, when we do this math, we get about 3.1779.